Welcome everybody back to the channel. In this video we hop inside the Elder Dark Aether and go for all three schematics. Except the big twist is we can't use any guns. So no VR-11, no primary weapon, nothing. Only our fist and our tacticals and lethals. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek. We complete the escort contract with zero guns. So drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly fellas, enjoy. Thanks to Damn Mods for sponsoring this video. They are an awesome Call of Duty service company. Basically, they go in, they unlock stuff for you, they give you the Borealis and Interstellar camo. You can play in lobbies to complete hard challenges that maybe you just can't complete. They're trusted by thousands of customers. They have very, very, very good reviews with Trustpilot. Make sure you guys go check them out. Link is in the description. You guys can use code SPAZO to save up to $100 off on your order. So we are in the Dark Ether, and we're going to do a no gun run for the schematics. Now we are in Elder, so this is uh, <laughs> quite the challenge. Now you can come in here and do the uh, Outlast and do the, uh, what, the other one, the Extractors, without a gun with no problem at all. The only hard one is the Escort. I'm going to try to show you guys that it's possible with no guns. I mean, we could fail it, but I'm going to try. Uh, but the thing is about this is you need a lot of Essence to complete this with no guns. So, I mean, is it 100% worth it to do the Escort without a gun? No. Uh, but the reason I say you need so much Essence is because look at all the stuff you have to buy. And it, it's needed. Especially if you're not running guns. Um... The only challenging part, it's not like challenging like you can die. It's challenging to keep the Mega Abominations off of it, which is, again, why we brought in the Jug Suits. So we're going to use these to kind of clear out some of the Mega Abominations as well. Uh, so hopefully we can uh, get this done. Let me run around this way. I don't even have my perks yet. We're going to have to go back and get them. But we're just going to take a second. Go over here real quick. Let me play it up. Yeah, I'm going to have to buy perks once we get over there. So I'm not stressed because the zombies can't damage the ACV until we start it up. And they actually buffed the jug suits. So they do a lot more damage now. I haven't even shot an eye yet and uh, we literally almost have them killed. So that just goes to show how good they are now. But yes, they were buffed. Take the rest of these guys down. There's a three play. We don't need any of that. All right, let's make our way to the Wonder Fizz. I actually completely forgot, dude, to grab my perks. Um, but we should be good. If we get another Mega Abomination spawn, we'll have to just take him down. I mean, there's nothing we really can do. But yeah, we got to go all the way back here to get uh, perks. <laughs> so there's no vehicles inside of the Dark Ether, but I think if they were to add a vehicle... The vehicle they should add is the dirt bike. They had the dirt bike in DMZ and I believe Warzone 2. I didn't play much of Warzone 2, so I'm kind of unfamiliar with that. Um, but I'm pretty sure that was in there. Let me pop a decoy. Grab my perks real quick. Alright, we are good. We have all of our perks now. Daily challenge completed. Drink three perka colas. Awesome. Ooh, squeeze through. My bumper on my controller is broken, so throwing my ether blade is a pain in the ass. I don't know. I got to buy a new controller. <laughs> I, I always forget, though, when I have the opportunity to. All right. Back to the ACV we go. We wasted a little bit of time, but we, we are good. The other contracts don't take too, too long. All right. Let's go ahead and equip the Casmir's. Start this ACV up. So we're definitely going to be using our Ether Blade a lot, and we're going to be using our Casimirs a lot. Um, I can't promise you we're going to pass this on the first try because it has been a minute since I did a no gun escort run. <laughs> it's possible. You just got to be very, very smart, and you kind of got to get lucky with like certain spawns and everything. But I mean, it's it's not impossible. There's a Mangler up there. I don't know if I know because my Casimirs will kill him. I'm not worried. Every time this runs over zombies, we don't take damage. I'm going to go ahead and throw a Casimir. Just get it tossed. We have a ton of freaking Casimirs. So I'm not worried. Go ahead and equip some more. 
We're just going to have to keep them stacked up. We really need that mangler dead. There we go. Still at 95%, so I'm not really worried right now. And I jumped through it. Oh, no. That's not good, dude. <laughs> Let me throw that. Go, 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 go. We got to go. All right. Let's equip the other one. Yeah, but this is the Elder, and I'll be able to prove it whenever we complete a contract and we get a schematic. We got a uh, Mega up there. Let's toss that. Ah, oh, this is Zombie. There we go. Yeah, this Jug Suit's definitely got to help me here. Come on, Jug Suit. Get in the Jug Suit, dude. What are you doing? Come on, Mega. Go down. Alright. Let's just take these zombies down while we're moving. Try and take the bosses down. The bosses are what really hurt you here. Alright. We're not looking too bad. We took quite a bit of damage because the, uh, what's it called? The Mega Abomination gave us a lot of damage. Probably not going to deal much damage. Uh, we might run out, which I'm thinking we probably will. Let me throw this. Oh! That was unfortunate. Us going down right there. We still got 47%. We have four Kazmiers left. The likelihood of us completing this is kind of low. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. We took a little bit too much damage back there with the Mega Bomb. But I mean, hey, we can complete it. I'm all for it, man. Try and take down as many zombies as possible with this Ether Blade, man. It's, it's a lot harder now, I'll say, to do this simply because they changed the time on the Ether Blade. So it takes longer to cool down, uh, which sucks drastically. Can I get a chuck in back there? The manglers do a ton of damage on this as well. Um, more than likely we'll fail this. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's not looking too, too good. Especially with this mega right here. We need him to uh, damage us. Not the ACV. Let me throw that. I just got to keep taking this damage. I don't want this guy over here. Let me throw another one. Come on. No, don't damage it. Throw that. Energy mine. Dude, my energy mine will not pull out. Because of my controller, dude. Do that. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we're gonna fail, fellas. Ah! Move! Yo, we completed it with no guns. I'm such a fucking G, bro. Like, come on. I'm such a G. You guys better drop a like on this dang video. <laughs> Yo, no one has done that yet on YouTube, bro. Yeah, if you guys don't drop a like, you guys just... You guys are just lame. Because that takes some fucking skill oh my gosh but you know it also takes skill not going down here because I don't have a self revive I used everything on that contract alright go 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 okay Whew, that was a close one schematic I'll take it yes okay awesome uh, I'm calling in dog bone <laughs> I don't even care dude uh, we have six minutes left. Six minutes to do all the other contracts. Is it possible? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Matters how fast we get this first. One done. I said my decoys, though. So we're good there. Let's hurry up and grab this. Although a lot of the Megas are dead, so... <laughs> we kind of chilling now, bruh. Ain't even gonna lie. It's probably gonna be easy.
And we have this three play golden armor, so I, uh, I'm not stressing. I'm not stressing at all. Let me throw that. Here we go. That's going to bounce me back. Oh, I'm stuck. What the heck? I got an idea. Let me throw this. There we go. If the game would let me do it. Holy, bruh. Oh my gosh, this game's so buggy. We need to get to the next one. We don't have much time. Dun -na 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 -na. Ether blade. Ether blade. Charge. Holy shit. Ether blade. Charge. Balls to the wall. Oh my gosh, dude. This mimic. Bro, what is going on in this game, bro? Bro, bro. What is that? All that glitching? That's super annoying. I'm just gonna risk it. We're risking it. We should be good. Oh my gosh. The game glitched again. Ugh. That's actually irritating, dude. <laughs> like, I'm gonna, I'm, I could fail this run simply because of that. Because the game's not well optimized. Like, what's the baloney with that, man? For real. Risking it. He shouldn't be able to knock me. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Finally, we did this one. All right. We got to do this Outlast contract. This is our last one we got to do. All right. So, this should be pretty easy. We have three minutes left until uh, we have to get out of here. So, hopefully, we can <laughs> actually do this. I don't know. It might be... Uh, we might be cutting it close, that's for sure. So, uh, the strategy I like to take with this is always just kind of chill and... Why the heck is my ether blade not throwing? You can sit on, like, these glass little pillars right here uh, and just run back and forth and the zombies will throw meat at you. But, you don't always have to do that. You can just run around in a circle kind of like I do. And then if you have an ether blade, you're pretty much chilling. It's never really too, too bad. We're at almost 30% already. Um... So, a strategy I like to run whenever I'm running around here, if you want an exact strat, is the, uh, not the last one to the stairwell, but the one before that I jump off of. So, you can come and run up here, and then you're just going to want to turn and jump off here. This will give you the better angle for the stair or staircase, and you can just keep running up that as well. Um, I recommend if you have zombies coming down the stairwell, either try and ether blade them or run up this side because they're not going to stop. They're going to keep running down that stairwell until they uh, get to the open floor and then attack you. So that's probably the better strategy for that. Try not to get caught in too many zombies. You can run up each and every stairwell. But honestly, the Outlast contract is the easiest contract of the Dark Aether. Uh, so it's definitely not bad whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much <laughs> it can be done pretty fast. So we are, uh, almost done with it and we're waiting, waiting, waiting. Sometimes at the end it can get a little hectic and there we go. Contracts done. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay. And there we go. There's our last contract completed. So I don't need the schematics or nothing. Um, so I am just going to head to x because uh, timer's running low and <laughs> I have my opportunity and I'm out. So yeah, you can do every contract without guns in this game. Uh, you definitely don't need a gun. Uh, it can take a lot of preparation, uh, a little bit of strategy, and you can pretty much get this done. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, not forget to leave a like and subscribe down below. It definitely helped me out a ton. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, boys. I'm out. Have a good one. Peace.